What's up, y'all? This your girl, Miss T, and I was coming at you with a little small, tiny haul and a review. Um, I just I placed an order last week from Coastal Scents. Um, they were having a 35% off sale on their um, earth-friendly earth products. I think that's what it was called. Um, it was like 35% off, and you could order like um, aromatherapy oils, essential oils, um, shea butter, cocoa butter, stuff like that. And I placed the order for a couple of items. Um, I ordered the Made in Africa combo set and some cocoa butter and some neem oil. Because I've heard a lot of good things about neem oil except for the smell. They said it's supposed to be very good for your hair, for your skin and everything else. So let me go ahead and show you. My package came today. I placed the order on Friday, um, Friday morning about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And I got my order today. It just arrived. And I'm excited because I was looking forward to this. I've been wanting to order this for a while. And this is the package. This is how it came in a box. Packaged up. There was more um, packaging on top, but I took that off because it was in, kind of in the way. And what they did is they sent, um, sent me their business card. This is their business card. I'm sorry if you can't see it. It's kind of dark. I have to work on my lighting. Ooh, they sent me a sample, a free sample. This is... Um, mineral eyeshadow called Burnish Gold. I love samples. I do. I love free samples. I love free. Free anything pretty much, but free samples. And this is what it came. It came with a little small tiny sample. Let me see if I can um, open this up. It's really cute. It's real small and tiny. Let's see. And let me see if I can open it up. Oh, it's real pretty. It's kind of dark. Um, you probably can't see it but it's kind of like almost like a brown with gold undertones to it but it's really nice I like it so I'll be trying that out I'll be putting that with my little my eyeshadows now but um, let, let's get started with the um, with the haul I got I ordered with the back to the made in Africa combo set it's basically um, I think four or five items I got a, a 16 ounce thing or basically one pound of African Shea Butter, which I love this stuff. You see, yeah, you can see it here. And it's all natural, unrefined. Um, it's for external use only, may cause eye irritation, whatever. I use this to make my whipped Shea Butter mix. It's a mixture of different oils, Shea Butter, Cocoa Butter, when I have it on hand and I make it and I whip it up. And I apply it on my hair and my skin. Sometimes I'll put an essential oil in it, like tea tree oil or orange oil or something like that to give it a scent. Right now, the current one I have, I made a couple set like last year, the end of last year. And I'm still using it because I use it sparingly because a little goes a long way. So I really like it. Um, I received a pound or 16 ounces of um, black soap, African black soap. I've never used Coastal Scents black soap before but I've heard a lot of great reviews a lot of positive reviews about it and I've used my local beauty supply store um, black soap and I have to say I've been sleeping on this stuff I'm really surprised but it cleared up my skin better than pretty much almost any beauty product that I've ever used right now I'm currently using Neutrogena um, face, some type of Neutrogena facial wash that's for oily skin and it works great during the summertime for me where I um, I use it during the summertime because I get real oily in the summer, but it it keeps me from becoming real oily. But this, I, but it, it doesn't clear up my skin as quickly. Black soap, I don't know about this one in particular, but I know the ones that I've been getting from the um, beauty supply store that's supposed to be all natural also, really is awesome. I love the way my skin feels and looks. So I also got um, African cocoa butter, which I am, I was completely out of cocoa butter when I made my last um, shea mix. So I said when I get an opportunity, I was going to buy a big thing of cocoa butter. Cocoa butter, one thing I can say, I love the way cocoa butter smells. And it smells good. But this is some hard stuff. Especially if you got to cut it. This is hard. Oh my gosh, this joke is brick hard compared to the shea butter. So, But this, is, this item is separate from the Made in Africa combo. This is neem oil. And all it has in it is neem. It's all natural. It's 100% natural. And I've heard a lot of great things about neem oil. But I've heard also that this supposedly stinks 
to high heaven. It stinks bad. So I'm, I'm going to try to smell it and see. I'm almost scared. It's, it's, ooh, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. It just smells, it's, it's honestly, what people have said it smells like, it smells like. It smells like stale peanuts. It doesn't smell like, it's not a horrid smell. It doesn't smell like, oh my God, I can't take this or whatever. I think this was starting to solidify in the box a little bit. But I don't know. But they say this is really good. It's, it can be used also as an antiseptic too. I guess because of the smell. It repels like mosquitoes and things. So I'm like, this is wonderful because mosquito season is coming. It's about, you know, summertime. So I'm going to pack this back up. But no, it does smell like old peanuts, stale peanuts. This is the... This is the other items a part of the Made in Africa set. This is um, the coconut oil, which is already starting to solidify. If you keep it, they say if you keep it at room temperature, it, so, it should not solidify. It should stay liquidy. But if you can see at the bottom, I'm sorry, it's already at the bottom here. It's starting to solidify, which is fine. I have no problem with that. But this is supposed to be 100% natural coconut oil. It has a different smell. It doesn't smell. Normally, most coconut oils that I've purchased don't have a scent to them. They don't smell like coconut. They just don't have a scent. This one has a, a different scent. But I think it's because it's in liquid form. I don't know. It's not bad, but it smells like, almost like, to me, almost like cheese. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it smells almost like cheese. Cheese and bubble bath. Or more so like an old bubble bath that you've had for a while. That's starting to lose its scent. The scent's starting to get old, but they, this is um, the liquid coconut oil, which I've been wanting to try the liquid coconut oil. This is African wild honey, 100% African wild honey. I've never used honey before, and and the only major reason why I bought them the Made in Africa Combo Scent from Coastal Scents was for the shade, the one pound shea butter, the black soap, and the coconut oil. That's what I really bought it for. I didn't, I mean, this came with it. It's a plus, I'm hoping. But I've never used honey like that before. They say it's a humectant and it's great for like mask and drawing uh, moisture to your hair, which I guess that's great when you want to do conditioning treatments. You can mix it with that. But I'm not trying to have any more moisture because as you can see, I did, um, did my hair differently this time. Normally I have it pulled back. But this actually smells really good. It puts me in the mind of Malawi. If anybody that's from the South or got relatives in the South, this smells like molasses. And most people from the South know what m m biscuits and molasses is and knows what molasses smells like. This is what it smells like. But they say this is not edible to keep it out of reach of children. This isn't supposed to be eaten. But it smells really good. I love, and I love the way molasses smells and tastes. But, so hopefully... I will be able to use this in a lot of my condition, hair conditioning treatments and what have you. But that was everything I, I purchased from Coastal Scents. I received. I'm excited. But I also said I wanted to do a review. Um, also, but I'll, I was going to do the review along with this haul. But you know, it's the, I don't want this video to be long. So I'm going to do the review at another time. So I will talk to y'all later. Um, and for those of you wondering what I did differently to my hair, just on a side note, basically this is a Bantu knot, knot out basically. I, last night I Bantu knotted my hair in about, let's see, one, two, three, about five um, little Bantu knots all over my head. And in the morning, I tied my hair down. In the morning, I took them out and kind of separated them with my fingers. And this morning, it looks really cute. Now, because it's hot and the humidity has gotten to it, because it's getting ready to rain outside if it hasn't already started. It's kind of frizzy and bushy. So I may redo it again and do smaller sections. I don't know. I'm getting kind of tired and lazy and I don't feel like it. But we'll see. So if y'all have any questions or what have you, got any comments, let me know. Leave them below. Also, I'll probably come back and do a review on the items that I received from Coastal Scents at a later date. We'll see. Talk to y'all later. Bye.